Hello! Okay, I'm going to do an extra stream today. Um, yeah, we're in another time, 25 days. Ooh. So, last day, um, I made a very quick main screen and I want to make some improvements. So, what I was thinking is um, how difficult will it be to have color fonts? Not a lot, so let's do that, shall we? So, uh, and then we pass. color here hmm? will that work so it's going to be this split because for the font we don't really need uh, the second rect because the font is already prepared to be like that so we still need the sprite Uh, but we're going to pass um, a color we want to use. Um, so if it's transparent, continue. But otherwise, we use a color. And I think that's going to be it. This could be also interesting to... Um, then maybe we need to do the other one as well. Um, because we could be using this to kind of give a tint, you know, ignore the color information, just anything that is not transparent, use whatever color we provide here. That could be useful, maybe. Um, so let's do this and we pass a color. Which is going to be the same. It's just that we're going to use the color and pass that color to the bleed. Um, I don't know if it's worth doing it differently, like. Um, Can we ask always to pass a color input text? Yeah, why not? And we simplify things. Hmm? We pass a color. If someone uses this ever, why someone would like to use this? I don't know. Whatever reason. Hey, Raisin to being good evening. How are you doing, my friend? What are you doing today? No, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It is. Yeah, it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Okay, so no, I don't know what we're going to use this. In this. Uh, it's only the menu, right? No, in game as well. Um, so we have the palette here. So one is going to be so white is going to be one. And it's going to be just hard coded like that because why not? I don't think I want to set constants for the name of the colors because it's very dependent on the palette, right? So okay, so that's all of them. See, now we can do some interesting things. Uh, we can say here uh, time is bigger than 10 
then one otherwise we can use 15. For example, right? And let's see, what else do we have here? Yeah, the interesting thing, which is the menu. This is the, the bit I wanted to improve. So for the high score, we can use one, two, three, four, five. Press the space to play. We're going to use, for example, 32, which is not a color that we have, but we're going to use a palette effect to change that. Then for code, graphics and sound, we can use maybe, I don't know, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Let's use six, seven and six. So seven here, six here, and for use box, we can leave it in white, for example. Why not? And not quite because why oh oh man okay so i know why so oh man that's terrible it's because uh we don't use transparent in the font uh just because we want it to be What do we do then? Shall we pass a mask? A color and a mask? Hmm? Maybe? Yeah, because in the, at the font, in the font we don't use, I don't use transparent. I don't want to use transparent because if I use transparent, I need to erase when I update, for example, the score and things like that. And by using black, what I do is um, it's ca I can overwrite, over overwrite, yeah. So so okay. Can we do something about this? I know that the font is is white, right? So mm. I don't know. So I just want to replace the color, but I don't want to make it I don't know, does it make sense to make it um I mean, in reality, if it's transparent, it's keep. And then... If it's B, C, otherwise B. And that does it, but it's not really good to reuse, right? So how can we make this a little bit more general? generic so we can reuse that better for other things um let's wait for the time it should be red when is it gets to less than 11. so what can we do about that um, i think i do some tint effect in some amstrad games let's take a look because i don't remember how i'm doing it but I think there's potential that we can make some some operation with that. Maybe it's just a mask. Um, yeah, it works fine. 
cool. I mean, it's not, it's not light changing, but it's just colors. We like colors. Cool. Uh, let's see how we're doing, how I, what I'm doing in Amsterdam, right? So, for example, let's take a look at uh, Red Rick. And it's going to be text. Oh, 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 oh. What do we do? Mm, so, set inks. So, we get oh, assembler. Nice. That's exactly what I need right now. So, what I do is an and. Is it as simple as that? I'm confused. So if it's zero, it's going to stay zero. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, all right. I mean, it's still not good, but. So like this. No, of course not. Uh, sorry, what? No, this is it's rig. Anyway, um, no, it was text, right? I'm kind of tired, so I might not be able to get this today. But uh, yeah, we read a we read a byte. And then we do an AND and, and replace that. Which is what we were doing here, right? So B is the color of the sprite and then we do AND. Uh, but maybe it's, no, it's four bits per pixel. This is a bit per pixel. It's not the same, is it? Because this only is going to work if the font is using 255. Anyway, I think uh, I can leave it like this. I just need to document why is the why is this. Funny behavior, right? Maybe that green is not very good either. Okay, so uh, so what I'm doing is okay. We can say, for example. And that's it. I mean, it's a weird behavior, but if we document that, we're happy, right? I'm happy. So in the menu, I don't like that green. So we could be using one, two, three, three and two, maybe. Two and three. Uh, two and three. Yeah, it's the colors of the mind, right? So it's kind of okay. Cool. And and here we can do and we need also in BGA here something. Only one color, right? So index I'm gonna say 
And wait a minute. Can we do something different? Do we need to set the color like that? Can we pass the palette index? Uh, could we pass in the palette? Well, we just want to replace, right? Okay. We may not even need to do that. I mean, I like the idea of of having things isolated, but all right. So what is it? What is the set palette? Where, 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 where are you? Here. We can do just here. Something like this. Yeah, but the only problem is that, mm, yeah, if I did that, it's okay. It's okay. I know I know bother about this. So, you can say. Yeah, I And we say 32, right? So. Color effect index, color effect index. In here we say. Right? And then we can say something like this. Uh, no, I don't like it like that. Uh, but we can copy this color effect index and we can put it here actually do we need a function for this um maybe we don't need to do it like this maybe we can just have it here color effect index Just, just like this, right? And then we we'll take color and then color effect index. And then we can do and yeah, okay, so we can even do this like. Whatever. And here we can say color effect index. And then we can do so. So three times uh what's wrong? Oh, because it's not palette, it is bin binary palette start, right? Probably too quick, but
Okay, too much. Can we do, for example, okay, equal zero. Oh, we can do it either way. Uh, no. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> it equals to 16. Then we do this. Something like that. It is truly awful. Um, okay, let's not do that. We can do... RGB, then delay. And then we can do. Actually, it should be the other way around. Because. Because we need to change after the VSync, no, before. So we call RGB here, we can do... Actually, we can do it like that. Something like this. And then what we can do is but that's too much. So we could be doing For example, 16, and we say if delay equals 12, then we set here. We don't even need the RGB, we only need the delay. So we can say it's zero, and here we're gonna say 255. And we don't need that, we only need the delay. And delay increases, right? All the time. Can do that. And instead of that, we do N16. Too much. So, I mean, A16, or maybe 32, 16. It's going to be too much time there. So, we want it to be the less. so maybe 24. Too much, isn't it? Oh, 
Okay, so... No, I think I want... Blinking less, so... Zero has to be... Oh... Yeah, zero has to be shorter, so maybe... I don't like it. <laughs> well, sometimes. Sometimes these things happen, right? Anyway, we're going to leave it like that for now. We still uh, we still want the the, the color of it. Uh, so what I'm doing? What's going on now? Uh, color effect index, so now nah, we're going to use, for example, white. No, different color, please. We can use one, two, three, four, five. I don't know which one. Uh, 13, which is kind of pinkish. No, 13 is no pinkish. Huh? Why is doing that? Hmm? I mean, we set in the color to... That's the color index, right? We set on the... Yeah, on the game we used... For the time 15. Oh, because it's 14. All right, okay. It's not good. At all. all right, let's do that. Let's move on. Okay, so that gave us some, gave us colors. It's kind of. Something wasn't there to do. No, it wasn't. Qua, qua, qua. Disappointed. Anyway. So. Anyway. It is okay. And it didn't take me too long. Cool, yeah. And the con, the you know, we can change the colors and things here, like maybe make the score yellowish or whatever, because it's gold, right? Let's do that. And it's going to make things look a little bit better. So, score, and that is going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's telling me the number 5. Would be nice if he was keeping that. Yeah. Okay, um, what else we can do? What else we can do? Okay, so the high score, we want that available on the menu, right? So... Disco value or get high score? I suppose. 
maybe. So we add the high school here, so basically, uh, what is the size of high school? Yeah, not the right one, so, and this is again, making things overly complicated, I think, a little bit complicated without really needing to, but, so we need to go game here now. need a buffer right and it's going to be six six seven uh no we can make it bigger it's going to be seven eight nine ten so ten is going to be it's going to be high space So, uh, like this, you want a six, and then and here we use the buffer and a sprint F comes from a standard IO. And what I'm doing wrong? Long int. My argument has type int. Uh, I'm confused. We high score. We said it was on it. Uh, oh. Yeah. And and here. That's funny. Okay, so that's the high score. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plus a zero is yeah, that's ten counters. So that's the high score. that somewhere here now I didn't put a reminder cool excellent um what time is it we've been 35 minutes I think we can still squeeze something else shall we look at the coyote time uh, so what is the coyote time the coyote time is basically um, the aim is to make easier jumping close to the edge of a platform so so i'm trying to jump but i'm falling so instead of forcing me to jump too early i'm actually failing a lot so basically um or maybe there is something wrong with the code Let's take a look because it could be something wrong. So, yes, maybe potentially because the gravity kicks before we process left and right. So before we process jump, I guess. 
does it make any difference if I do this? I mean, it's not a lot, but... It could be one frame off. No, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so how do we do the coyote time? So we ask him the gravity to be off. Let's take a look what we did. Okay, so I have different implementations of coyote time. So... Let's look at the one in Lirri because I like it. It's much better than the one. Uh, so what do I do here? No, player dying. We are not dying. No player. Okay, update player. Um, check for gravity. See, I mean, I'm I'm always writing the same code. I'm so boring. Terrible. Uh, okay. Allow jump if just started to fall. P mom. What is P mom? Momentum, perhaps. Uh, allow jump if just started to fall. Oh, yeah, momentum, right. Oh, interesting. Why did I do that? So, if there is no player. So, player H, I don't know what I call it, H. But that's the gravity one, right? So this is the... So yeah, it's kind of the same amount we're doing here. But uh, but we also check in for... Momentum. And I think what I'm doing is... Oh man, this is so complicated. Does it really matter? So, if there is momentum, we reduce that. Uh, if there is momentum, then we allow to jump. We allow to get... So, basically, we let the momentum to grow up to maximum. I don't know what is that defined. To a maximum. And it means that if you are in the border on the platform, it's not going to have the same effect, but if you've been running a little bit before jumping, uh, you are allowed to jump later. She's not bad. Shall I do that? I mean, that's all it does. So... Let's try that. We can do momentum or inertia. What is better? What do you think raising the beam? Momentum or inertia? It's momentum, right? I like it. Maybe it's because I'm Spanish. And what is max momentum in here? I guess it has to be... Maybe May? Maybe here? We are defining momentum... Max momentum... No. And then it has to be... Layer? Oh, max momentum, four. Okay, let's just start with that. And we can go from there. Um, so basically, so when we need the player, momentum is going to be zero. Okay. 
uh, then basically if there is momentum then we subtract and I think I'm doing it like this here because SDCC will generate a slightly better code Yeah, we don't care because we're using GCC, a modern version of it. So we don't care. Right, so blah, 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 blah. So when we try to jump, it's either because there is no gravity. So we are not in air in the air. Or on there is momentum. And if we jump, we set the jump flag and we disable momentum so we prevent from yeah doing funny stuff um, and then when we move left or right hmm? oh no it's when it's left or right uh, i'm confused so why is no it's only when we move, right? If we hit in the wall. I don't know. I think it makes more sense to put it here, right? We only get momentum if we move it. So if gravity is gravity off and is less than max momentum we increase that and we do the same when we move left uh, I'm, I'm not completely sure why I was doing it like that let me get this back okay so now Huh. It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. It should allow me to... What am I doing wrong? So no gravity and momentum is less than max momentum. Oh, because we increase momentum plus by two. Could be that. But I guess... Um, this is also going to take into account the fact that I'm in 60 Hz instead of whatever I was doing in, in the Amstrad. Yeah, there you go. No? Okay, so we increase momentum and then jump. Well... It has to be more and max momentum has to go up as well so let's do eight it might be too much ha <laughs> there you go see In fact, I wonder if yeah, it allows me to jump actually quite far away. Uh, yeah, that's kind of good at the time, All right? That's what we wanted. So, oh, it almost. Can I get reached to the other side? No, probably not. So close, though. 
He's definitely jumping me there. And it doesn't look like it's too much because... So basically, if I'm close, I don't know. I mean, it looks fine. It allows, you know, it does what we want. That looks good. So let's put some comments. I don't know if that's that's a way of calling it, but um, and then if it should be here or not, I think it's better if it's here. Uh, although this code is so so ugly. Yeah. Momentum is always going down. Cool. Is that right? No, we need to do more things for the player. So we need to do. Okay, so those things we need to do. <laughs> but anyway, we have implemented clear to time, right? Was good that was good um right another thing i wanted to do maybe today is in tiles perhaps is can we make a kind of a door like a door for the response Let's try that. Although I said I was not going to draw on the stream because it's so boring to see me adding one pixel and then another and then another. And also I'm not good drawing. Let's try that. Something like this. Something simple. It doesn't need to be too complicated. Uh, I mean, it would be nice if it looks a little bit like in the context of the, the game, right? Does it look like? Maybe. And uh, I mean, currently the player is uh, starting there, but maybe we don't need to put it there. Okay, so uh, this is going to be more like, uh, okay, I don't like to put it here because the shape, right? It looks awful. Um, so I don't know, maybe here. 
but we don't we don't have the entities yet so that means that we can place the player i mean it's currently hard coded to one position the the basic idea is that oh there you go what did i do what did i do wrong oh because i put that in the gold layer and it has to be in the map layer So yeah, I think it's fine. I guess. So, and you have that as a, as a respawn point. Now, question is, does it look awful if we put it here? Probably not. It looks okay. Um, maybe it's not the best door. I guess it's a door anyway. I mean, it would be nice if it looks like like wood, right? Um, or I don't know, following this style with the lightning, with the lights. Um, I mean, we can give it some. Yeah. I mean, it's the entry point to the stage. I mean, my point is when I jump in the spikes and I die, I need to respawn the player somewhere, right? And I guess it has to be, for example, over there. Um, I think it's fine. Let's keep that for now. Huh? Okay. okay, so that's that can be the res respawn point. is not bad yeah okay so yeah i think i'm going to leave uh here for today because it's i think i'm going to to have another session tomorrow um and tomorrow i think we can start adding the entities to the map and so we can have the player we can place the players wherever we want. I think that would be useful. And it's, you know, it's the first step. There are a few things uh, that need to be done. Why is that line in there? Be with parallax. Uh, okay. So show creep. Uh, okay, it's probably the grid configuration. So, major grid every 32, and our map has 40, right? Yeah, but that's it. Cool, it's gone. 
so yeah as i was saying before i got distracted uh cool another thing i'm thinking about another thing that i'm thinking about is that i think i'm changing my mind regarding this And I think I'm going to make it just uh, I and I think I, I like more the idea of being able to move like this. So I guess hmm. I don't know. I mean, I like on you know on one hand, I like the idea of I like the idea of being able to change from one side to the other. But on the other hand, I think I like better because if I'm going to introduce the doors, it may give me more design, you know, more level design opportunities, right? Uh, okay. I think it's going uh, it's going to be better like this. I mean, I can change my mind later, uh, as long as it's not too late. Yeah, there's another thing that perhaps. So okay. So I can get there. Okay, fine. If I do this, I can. So that's part of the navigation, the screen, right? Okay, one thing I... One last thing, one last thing, one last thing. Um, in the map... So the goal layer, we need to check because... We set a limit on 255 pieces of gold, right? Um, so I guess we can do if count now how do we do that this is Python so total goal equals zero for T and Ball layer data if T is not zero and then If something like that. it's because it will save us all the time if we detect this type of stuff before it breaks the game. So if for whatever reason we go over 255, it will tell us. Which is always useful. Because it's the kind of stuff I forget about, and then things start going funny, and then you spend a lot of time debugging and troubleshooting when in reality it could have been easier controlled by that. Okay, cool. So we start at the door, then we start get, get, getting things. Can 
jump over here we will lose lives we can get over there yeah i mean it's okay and i think i mean crossing the screen left to right is not bad but i will think about it i mean we still have time to change our mind but yeah I mean, it can be interesting, but at the same time, I don't know. Also, we don't need to make this, we can make this narrow if we want. Because in reality, we're using 8 by 8 uh, tiles. So we don't need to use 16 by 16 for the border of the screen, uh, which is going to give us 16 more. Um, that would be good. Cool, enough for today. We will continue. Possibly tomorrow. Again, uh, loading the entities from the map so we can place the player star point. Um, and then we go from there. I think once we have that, we can implement the the deadly blocks just not here in the to-do list but anyway we can do that and and that will help us to do when the player is dead do the respawn uh, after lo losing a life we have to make the player invulnerable for a few seconds uh, and when we lose all the lives, it's game over. So we can do that already. That's a lot of stuff for tomorrow. Let's try to do that. Anyway, enough for today. Bye bye now.